The content in this video is also explained in a written tutorial that you can find here or in the description below these videos. If you'd like to follow the text in this video, make sure you've turned on closed captioning. Lines can be very effective for showing movement across space. Let's say in this example I want to highlight the route uh, for traveling from East Campus to West Campus called Campus Drive. In the Map tab for this record, I could choose Draw a Line and just draw one line from one polygon to another. Now there are two problems with this. One is that this line does not actually follow the route that Campus Drive takes. The other is that if I zoom in, we notice that the line does not fully meet uh, the West Campus Polygon and we want it to meet as closely as possible. How to deal with this? First, we want to clear that geometry. And next, we want to zoom in on the area that we plan to begin drawing. And we don't have to zoom in all the way, but as closely as possible. And we can click Draw Line. And now let's see if we can create a line that follows as closely as possible Campus Drive. We won't be able to be exact in Meet Line, but we will be able to get pretty close. And notice you can use that Zoom In and Out function to move around, and I've zoomed in a little bit too far there. And now I can follow Campus Drive around. Now for that end point, you may try to zoom in closely to get our line to land as closely as possible to our polygon. Now I could go and style my line. Another way to deal with this issue is actually to draw the lines first and then add points on top of those lines. So let's say we want to draw a line between two points and we want it to be simply a direct line. We'll use these two uh, fields just as an example. So I'll create a new record and I'll call this line example here. And I will draw a line between these two fields. I'm not going to worry about uh, the actual route just to have a straight line. Now if we look in that spatial data box at the very bottom we get some information. In well-known text, coordinates are applied to each point uh, in a geometry. So that's two coordinates, and so a line string by default has a minimum of two coordinates, one for each point. Now if we wanted to add a point at the end of each line, I could again click, perhaps with... Uh, the draw point tool instead to add a point. But this is not terribly exact. I can do better. In fact, I could draw a point, and if I know that this coordinate here before the comma is my first point in the line segment, I can replace the coordinates in the point geometry by copying and by pasting over. And now look what we have. We have a line that hits exactly on the center of that point. We can then repeat this for the other point, this time using the second pair of coordinates for the line segment. There we go. Now we have two points connected by a line and we are sure that they are connected because the line's end point matches the center point of our drawn points.